For the last three months, people in Milwaukee could park in front of meters without having to pay a dime. Lifestyles had changed. Obviously, the world had changed for a while. A number of businesses were pausing operations. But now it's back to business and tickets. Since March 19th, how much revenue would you guys say you lost? Because I don't have that info. That's a budget office thing. I'm not even sure where we're. We're yet aware. Four hours after I asked that question, Brian Deneev with the city's Department of Public Works sent me a statement saying the city has lost six million dollars in parking revenue in comparison to the same time last year. I mean, ultimately, we do. If the city is like any other um, any other operation in the public or private sector. We rely on certain types of revenue, and, and parking does generate revenue for us. It's important for businesses to have uh, new customers coming in, new business coming in, and and having vehicles in one specific parking spot all day just usually isn't good for commerce. Owner of Compale on Brady Street, Paco Villar, agrees. Higher parking turnover means more business. More people can park, I'm going to get more business at my restaurant, that's for sure. That's like the best way to make money off of people in the cities. Resident Chase Rifkin doesn't think metered parking should resume just yet. I think as long as this pandemic is going on, it should be more fair to the people to kind of give a break on paying par for parking meters, you know, those couple dollars can go a long way. And I actually noticed some um, parking meters going around and ticketing people, so. Because of the fact that metered parking wasn't being enforced, would you guys say that you were more so enforcing other types of rules? No, not necessarily, because uh, during the pandemic, we actually redeployed a number of our parking enforcement officers to other divisions within DPW. In Milwaukee, Sarah Tamer, WISN 12 News.